Hi, this is Dave, Dave's Vintage Baseball Cards. Uh, thanks for coming and checking out my videos. Uh, if you're going to visit Dave's Vintage Baseball Cards, uh, you're going to find this video helpful because this is a real brief tutorial on how to navigate through the different sections and it's going to show you a little bit about the type of material we have here. Okay, well, now you've uh, gotten into the website. You're on the main section at gfg.com. This is the page that is a gateway to the entire site. As you can see, the thumbnails here uh, will give you links to the baseball section, football, basketball, hockey, uh, inserts, food brands, Venezuelan tops cards that were issued in South America, Venezuela, old judge cards, tobacco, Caramel cards, PCO cards, boxing, wrestling, non-sports, 19th century. If you scroll down on this particular page, you'll see a site map, uh, which has links to hundreds and hundreds of pages. Virtually all the pages on the site can be found right there. Now, if you go while you're on that last page and you click on that Mickey Mantle, it's going to bring you to this page here. Uh, this is the baseball page where you see these banners. These banners are links and you can go and visit the tops from the 50s to 70s, Bowman's, tobacco cards, caramel cards, pre-World War II cards, Gaudis, Diamond Stars, etc. The Venezuelan tops have a section, FLIR cards, PCL, uh, Pacific Coast League issues, as well as food brands and inserts. Cards are also listed on this page uh, by team and by year, or you can go to different sections uh, or return to the main section. So now we're back at the main section and you see I've circled three of these things. Let's start off by hitting the football link and when you hit the football link that's going to take you to the football section which has links to stars and rookies as well as male cut plugs, National Chickle, 1948 Leaf, Topps Magic, Bowman's, Exhibits, Bell Brands, Salada Tea Coins, Post Serial from 1960 to 1962, uh, the Flair football cards from 1960 to 1963, Kellogg's football cards from the Kellogg's Serial and Philly, as well as Topps regular issue and inserts. Um, and uh, you'd use just hit the links to get into those different those different sites there uh, to the related pages. Uh, you can go to different sections or you can also return back to the main page and let's say for example we go back to the main page the same area that I've circled there you can click on the Bobby Hall which will take you to the hockey section and in our hockey section uh, you'll find links to some of the older hockey cards the Imperial hockey cards from the early 1900s 1910 to 1912 uh, Opeachy and Ice King cards from the 1930s as well as a full selection of Parkhurst, Opeachy and Tops including regular issues and all their inserts and Sharif coins. There's also links to other sections or you can return back to the main section and let's take a look at the basketball section now you can click on that uh, picture of Bill Russell there, and uh, there's our guy uh, Pete Maravich. And there we have links to the 48 Bowmans, 57 Tops, 61 Flair. As you know, there was a break for about eight years, no regular issues. But then we have a full run of 1969 through the 1980s, uh, regular basketball cards, as well as a few different insert items. And you can go to different sections, or you can return back to the main section and now we're uh, going to go ahead and hit that link for the old judge cards and this is where the fun really starts. Here you can find information on the old judge cards. You can look at images of the cards from the spectacular Oregon find. Over 1,450 cards in that find. We've done a whole uh, video on that. Uh, they're organized alphabetically. There's a checklist for them there. You can also find a link to the Indianapolis find, another spectacular find. Uh, purchased from a 93 year old woman. She had her father's childhood collection. There's thousands of images there. We still have over 300 of these cards in stock and uh, you'll find a link at the top of the page for prices and images uh, where you can find lar larger images of all the cards that we still have in inventory. Uh, then we can go back to the main page. You can click on go to the 
tobacco card page uh, or which is also synonymous with the caramel cards and here on this page you can see we've got a lot of thumbnails we've got links to a lot of the tougher issues as well as some of the bigger name players uh, Ty Cobb, Honus Wagner uh, T205s, T206s, T207s, T3s, the B18 blankets links to caramel cards as well E90s, E92s, 93s, 94s, 95s, E98s the bishops, the E99s and E100s as well as some 19th century cards and Cracker Jacks. There's also links on this page to PCL cards and uh, the old judges and other 19th century issues. Uh, you get the general idea. This is a must-see page. There's thousands of images to take a look at. It's really a cool page there. Uh, jumping around a little bit, uh, you see we have circled the food brands and the insert items. Uh, you can, those are both going to take you to the same page, but they're kind of broken up there. And let's go take a look over there, and you can see that uh, you can link to different sections here. We have the Rodeo and Sugardale Meats, Cons Wieners, Armor Coins, Post Serial, Hostess Cards and Panels, most of the tops, inserts, coins, and posters uh, from the 60s and 70s. Bazooka gum, you'll find Remar bread, Mother's cookies, Johnston cookies, Bell brands, Milton and Bradley game pieces. What happened here? Oh boy, as well as football inserts. I don't know what happened there, but anyway. Now we're going to go and jump over back to the front page and we'll link back to the, uh, to the PCL cards. So taking a look at the PCL cards there, you'll see regional issues like the OBAC cards from 1910 through 1911, Remar bread, Sunbeam bread, Signal oil, Smith's clothing, Mother's cookies, and then we're out of stock on these, but a lot of nice images of the Bishop E99s, E100s, and the D304 Pacific Coast biscuits. So take a look at that section. That's pretty cool also. Now, uh, go back to the front page, click on the 19th century, and you can go and look at the 19th century cards. I have thousands of images of these. There were so many different issues of various uh, cards um, by some of these companies like Allen and Ginter and Duke and Kimball. You know, that boats, animals, birds, flowers, gems of the world, dancers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and we have links to a lot of those pages. We have quite a few cards in the section that are available that can be purchased. So you can come and take a look, browse around the pictures, and see if there's anything in there you like. Now, if you think you found something that you'd like to order, uh, many of our cards you'll find have images. If you see a little thumbnail by the card, like the ones pictured here, you can click on that, and it's going to bring up another screen, a larger image of the card. And you can go back to the ordering page here you see I've got uh, the VG card here uh, circled you can click on that it's going to drop it into the shopping cart which you see here and you have an option to either uh, going back and continue to shop or go ahead and check out if you decide uh, to check out you're going to see this page here if you're a returning customer uh, you can go ahead and fill in the information. You need to select the grade and the category there uh, if there's more than one available. And then when you're filling in the information here, you put your name, your credit card information. You need to check whether you're paying by check, credit card, or PayPal. If you're using an American Express, go ahead and check off the PayPal box or check because it's only 15 numbers in that. It causes a problem sometimes. So uh, that's pretty much it for the ordering. Uh, hopefully we'll see you here at Dave's Vintage Baseball Cards sometime in the near future. Uh, you've got our contact information here. If you have any kind of questions at all, we can help you at all. Go ahead and give us a call. Uh, we look forward to seeing you here at Dave's. Thanks and have a great day.